In today's video, we're going to talk about accessibility testing in Selenium Python. So first, let's talk about why accessibility is important. So accessibility in web pages is a crucial aspect of web development that ensures your site can be used by everyone, including people with disabilities. Uh, implementing accessibility practices improves the overall user experience and can also enhance your SEO. Web content accessibility guidelines. So these guidelines provide a set of criteria and success criteria for making web content more accessible. In Selenium Python, there's this uh, tool called Axe. And Axe is a popular accessibility testing tool that automates the process of identifying and reporting accessibility issues on web pages. So here I'll show you um, some basic commands that you need to use in order to use Axe in Selenium Python. So first, performing an Axe accessibility test using Selenium WebDriver in Python involves these steps. The first thing you have to do is you have to install the package. So what we can do is we can do pip install and we can install Selenium, Axe, Selenium, Python. We'll also need to import Axe from uh, Axe, Selenium, Python. And then we have to uh, run on various different commands in order to run uh, Axe. So right here we have, uh, we specify the driver, we inject it, um, and we grab the results, and then we write the results, and so on. So now I'm going to show you how we can do this in your code. So right here, I have a project open from previous. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a script uh, in order to run all this. So let's um, create a new script under uh, the test right here. Um, and we're going to call it, uh, let's name it. So right click, go new, go to Python file, and let's name it test underscore. Um, let's do selenium underscore accessibility. So we create this file. And now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import a few packages that we need to use. And so let's import uh, these uh, selenium web drivers and Chrome options. But most importantly, we're going to import Axe, which is the toolkit that uh, allows us to do accessibility testing. So in today's video, we're going to do three different functions, and we're going to grab the accessibility scores uh, and results from three different web pages. So if I was to create, let me show you what web pages we're going to look at. So I'm open up here, uh, ADM Lucid. So the first one we're going to do uh, is for the home page. We're also going to do it for uh, the golf course page right here. And we're going to do accessibility testing for the web element page right here. So we're going to look at all three pages, and we're going to see what the results are like. So for, uh, let's start with um, the home page. So uh, I'm going to create a function and I'm going to name it uh, test underscore home accessibility testing. And I'm not going to pass any arguments. And I'm going to begin by specifying uh, the Chrome options. And I'm going to say that this is just options. And then I'm also going to add some arguments. So I'm going to copy and paste this over because there's three things we're going to add. The first is we're going to say it's headless, so it doesn't open another window. So it'll do this all in the back end. No sandbox and then disable dev SHM usage. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a web driver using the Chrome options. So I create a web driver using the Chrome options. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to define the URL that we're going to go to. So we know we're going to go to the home screen. And then now let's um, go to the URL. So driver.get URL. And then um, now we're going to use the Axe uh, toolkit. So in order to use the Axe toolkit, let's first initialize Axe. And then after that, let's inject it. Uh, so we're going to inject the Axe core script into the page that we have. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run the accessibility testing. So we use axe.run to do that. And then we're going to save our results to a JSON file. Um, so here we have it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tell it to print um, our JSON file or the results into the command line. So right here we have printed violations into the command line. We're going to grab all the violations. We're going to print the number of violations we have, 
and we're going to print each violation. We're going to see what element it was involved um, and uh, what, what kind of summary and summarize the failure that we have. And then we're going to close the driver. So let me go ahead and run this. So it runs it all in the back line, so we won't have any windows popped up or anything, and you won't see anything, but it'll basically show us our results right here in the command line. So right here, we have um, the results down here. So we have five violations, and for each violation, we see a little description about it. So right here, right here, um, and so on. So that's that, that's for the home page. So next we're gonna look at how we can run this for our other pages. So this is very similar for the other pages. The only difference is that we'll be running for a different URL. So um, I'm just gonna copy and paste our different functions and we'll see how it goes. So let me just copy and paste this. Um, so this is for our um, uh, golf course page now. Um, so we're just going to have the Chrome options. We're going to specify the options. We're going to have URL here. We do the same thing, but we save our axe results right here and then, uh, uh, into the JSON file. And then we're going to print it out right here. Let's go ahead and run this. So this is for the golf page now. And while this is running, um, I just want to show you what the JSON file sort of looks like. So this is the result, uh, results from the last one. Uh, and we see that this is what the JSON file looks like. It'll basically show you the description, um, some tags that we have, and so on. So if I scroll all the way down, these are just descriptions we have um, about the thing. And then we have um, some, for example, right here, it says ensures headings have discernible text so that the headings can be read and so on. So that's the things that it looks at in the, uh, in the accessibility testing. So maybe like different colors, different headings, and making sure everything is easy to read. Uh, easy to access and for everybody uh, from different uh, backgrounds. But um, so we finished running our test for the golf course now. Uh, so right here, uh, and let's just go down. So we have six violations and then we see the results for each violation. So we say the first violation is um, right here. Um, and then we have some uh, more violations down here as well. So violation two is right here. Um, and um, it just gives a, a description about the different violations we have. Um, let's move on to our final test, and this will be for the web elements. And again, this is very similar, so I'm just going to copy and paste it over. Um, so right here, we have everything the same, um, except for the URL is different and the different file that we saved to. So go ahead and run this. So now uh, it's all done. So let me scroll, scroll up. And we see that we have six violations again, uh, and it gives a description of each violation. So this is accessibility testing with Axe in Python. It's very simple. Um, it's very easy to run. Um, you can just use the package and it'll give you the test results and so on. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for listening and we look forward to seeing you next time.